Hello friends! Today I want to talk about using a tool for drawing and creating sort of either digital drawings or digital collages, uh, something called Sketchpad. And so Sketchpad is really pretty interesting. If you look, uh, you can see this is the little tile for it right here. And then if you don't have it, you can come up here and just type in the word Sketchpad. Uh, and it should come up as, as part of your suite here um, for Chrome. And so it's free, you don't have to pay for it, uh, but you may have to, you know, get it. Uh, once you have it, all you have to do is click on this little icon and it'll take you to Sketchpad. So what I wanted to share with you was some of the things you can do with Sketchpad. Um, and I'll be honest, I don't know how to do everything there is to do, uh, but here's some, some tips. So if you come up here, you can see right now it's on stamp, and I was just practicing a little bit before I started talking to you. Uh, if you click on that, you can um, come down here and you can choose other things. So you can choose to use the stamp or there's pencil, pen, paintbrush, lines, arrows, spirograph, web, fur, all different kinds of things that you can do um, to draw with. You also have an area here where you can choose shapes. So then if you come down below, um, it gives you some shapes to choose from. Uh, you can add text. And so down here you can choose a font for your text. Uh, the next one over is clip art. So if you come down here, um, you can actually add your own image. Or if you come down here, you can choose a graphic and sort of pick something. So if, say, you want to do a dog, uh, you can do a search for a dog and then you have lots of different dogs to choose from. And then over here is a vector fill. We're going to start with a vector fill. So first we need to choose a color. So there's a radial, radial vector fills um, and linear vector fills. So let's start with sort of a rainbowish vector fill. And now I've got sort of a, a rainbow background and I can sort of take parts of it and grab it and change it if I want to by moving these little bars so I can have more move that green over uh, I can move this blue over and sort of overlap those colors so that's a kind of a fun way to play around with some color mixing um, and you know try some different things with a vector fill okay um, so let's undo that and let's go into let's say you don't want to fill everything I'm going to go ahead and choose a pen and show you how you can fill just certain areas okay so vector fill fills a whole space and then um, I can draw a shape so right now I don't have a fill. So if I'm drawing normally um, and you know, this has a little line through it, um, I can just draw things and I don't have to worry about anything getting filled in. Let's say I wanna draw a picture of um, a scene and I want to have grass. So let's make my outline this green right here. Let's hit make the fill. Uh, this green right here. So let's see what happens now. I'm gonna come along here. Now, as I go across, I can start to fill areas in. Okay. So that's something you can do, um, or I can fill it in a little more strongly. Okay, so just filling in 
this area. Uh, and then I can turn that. Now it's off. So then I can just go in and add some grass and stuff here and not have to worry about it filling. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and add some sky. I'm gonna try doing a vector fill and see what happens here. Oops, that filled in the hole. All right, I'm going to have to do the pen. That. And let's do that. Okay, so I'm just going to die here. That's a little bit better. Okay, so now I've got my sky and I've got a ground. Let's say I want some trees. So I can take my pen. Um, if I want my trees to be a little bit, let's see. Uh, let's try a paintbrush just for fun. And let's choose a color of my paintbrush. You don't see the color you like. I just go back down here. I want it to be more brown, so I'm going to go down there and just touch right there. Um, and then I can let's see. I'm going to make this a little bit smaller. I have to kind of notice that I'm having to go in and turn this off. Come on. All right, now it's off. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and color that in a little bit. branches. So doing this gives you a lot of control. You can choose just the color you want um, and you can make it exactly the way you want it to be. However, uh, what you can do, I have some lighter colored leaves in there too, just to have some variety. If you're just trying to do like a quick 
let's say this isn't something that's supposed to be great art, but something that makes maybe a presentation for class. You just need a quick way to show something um, and you don't want to take all this time that I'm taking on this tree right here. Uh, what you can do is come over here and click on click art, clip art, and you can type in the word tree. And then you can just grab a tree that you see here. And let's see, let's find a good tree. Scroll down, there's all kinds of trees. So let's say I want to use this tree right here. All right, and then of course I'll have to, to size it. So let's. Uh-oh. Right, let me undo that. Oh, undo. Undo my tree. Okay. All right, so I'm going to use my pen here. And oops. <laughs> I'm going to put my tree in there like that. Okay. Um, so I can, I can make the tree a little bit bigger, a little bit smaller, and just sort of insert things. Um, so maybe I want to add... A lion. So I can have my lion here. And then I need to make this lion a little bit smaller. Uh, maybe move them over a little bit. Okay, so I've got my safari happening here. So you can use your clip art and add uh, maybe a sun. My sun right here. Okay, so I'm starting to get a scene. There are sh other shapes you could add as well. So if I come down here, I can choose a shape. I can put my starburst here where the sun is. Uh, but again, always pay attention to your, your colors here. So I don't want a gray sun. I can have solid color. I can have radial. Radial's good for a sun. So I'm gonna add maybe something like this. Uh, the outline. Outline it with that. Okay, that looks pretty good. And then let's do round edges. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and close that. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and put my starburst right here where that sun is, and I can make it a little fancier. Okay, so this is where you can add some words if you want to. You can choose your different fonts. Um, again, this is your clip art. This is back to your painting tools. Uh, so if you want it to go back to just drawing, again, you want to choose your color. Uh, so I could add you know, some birds in the sky here. Now, if that's too thick, come over here and make this a little bit skinnier. but <laughs> you get the idea. So anyway, I hope you have fun uh, playing around with Sketchpad. I think it's a, a fun tool for drawing or just creating a digital collage and uh, discover some different things you can do. There's some tools over here I haven't even talked about, but those are the basics. So enjoy, and I'd love to see what you do if you want to share. Bye.